Hi, everybody. All right, hopefully the volume is okay. I don't know why I don't check the volume before I start the videos. <laughs> I guess I just don't think about volume until after the video is going. Anywho. Hey, y'all. What's up? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. All right. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Everything here is awesome. Hey, Shannon. Hi, everybody. Hi. I have been missing you guys. Missing you so much. Oh, Shannon, you watched Wentworth. Oh, good. Did you like it? <laughs> I've been missing you guys. I just was telling Pam, I said, I got to do a live. I haven't done a live in forever. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yay. So, um, yeah, anyhow. Um, oh, you do like Wentworth, Shannon? Yeah, Wentworth is awesome. Hi. Oh, you guys are getting snow in North Carolina? Ooh, yuck. Yuck. <laughs> Hey, oh, you guys watch the Mercedes um, Carol's van? Yes, yeah, that's a really, really, really nice van. Hi, Carol, a new Carol. Hi. Shannon watched all five seasons of Wentworth. Good grief, woman. You wasn't playing around. Hi, Kansas City with ice. Ugh. Um, Speedy, I can't tell her that. <laughs> if you find her on Facebook, I put all her info there. Just go on Facebook. You'll find her. Don't worry. If you put that flying pig clutter something thing, you'll find her. Don't worry. Hi, Ebony Nomad. So, hey, everybody. It's so cold there, huh? Yeah, Maria is still here. And uh, the camp is awesome. The Vanner family is awesome. Um, you do have to have a permit, but the permit costs you $0. So, yes, you do need to have a permit. All it is is filling out a form, and that's it. Uh, even if you spend one day, you still have to have the permit. It's a 14-day permit, but it doesn't matter. Yes, I'm still at the RTR. The RTR is not over until the 24th. Hi from Tacoma, Washington. Um, ooh, it is cold. Yeah, the potluck was awesome. We've had a, such a good time. Um, one of Vanner family has been gathering around, helping one of the um, girls get some donated um one of the gentlemen came by he had it, two um cabinets in his truck that he was going to take down to the free pile and i he came over to say hi before doing that and i said hold up we got somebody here who needs cabinets so he donated them to a young brand new van dweller so she has been diligently working for days getting them together they're doing some last minute touches now the cabinets are in her rig it's so exciting she's her house is becoming a home now. So it's so, so, so awesome. Am I going to the Women's March with Carolyn on Sunday? I am not. I am not. Um, but we were trying to decide if we could talk to someone here about um, gathering, figuring out how to gather all the women and maybe do a little march through camp here, the women. So we'll see. We'll see if we do something here or not. Um, no, I'm not leaving. I don't plan on leaving except going into town to Quartzsite. So. Right now it's getting chilly. It's um, 6 o'clock. And I don't know what the actual temperature is, but it's probably like 50 right now. It's a bit chilly. So I do have my hoodie on. Once the sun starts going down, it gets cold quick. A snow cone? I don't want no snow cone. <laughs> You keep that snow cone. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I do not want no snow cone. You have that. Enjoy that. No, no, no. So usually I do a hoodie and then I put my gray scarf on and um, sit by the fire. Although nobody's, nobody's fessing up. But some woman in camp has caused my cycle to come on a week early. So I started my cycle this morning. Sorry, guys. I know you don't want to hear about that. But yeah, so I'm like, Ugh. so I ate like a whole bag of chocolate. <laughs> and I have a couple of pimples. Oh, well, whatever. But it is what it is. So I'm just like not doing anything. 
I actually took a nap today. This was the first day I took a nap. So yeah, anyway. It might be TMI for you, but it's real life. It is what it is. So anyway. Yeah, so it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I see I'm even sleepy and I took a, I took a nap and I'm still sleepy. It's just exhausting. Anyway. Uh, no, there's no way I could be pregnant unless it's by immaculate, immaculate conception. Covina man! <laughs> yes, I'll be glad when that part of life is done for me. Anyway, how is everybody? Uh, I did not go to Carolyn's Boondocking Seminar. Uh, let's see. The only seminars I have attended are the um, uh, the gadgets one because I helped Jennifer with her gadgets. And unfortunately, some boondocker, some boon, uh, some boondocker, some YouTuber videotaped that seminar when we're not supposed to be taping um, videoing seminars. And so that's not cool that people, YouTubers are out here um, taking video when they're not supposed to. Um, and it's just not fair. Um, Mr. Wells, Bob has invested a lot, lot, lot of money. And it's not fair that these people are on the sly taking video of his seminars and posting them before he gets a chance to. He should definitely be able to recoup the money he has put into this um, event this year because he had to put out a lot of money out of pocket. Um, so I feel like the least they can do is respect his wishes and not film these seminars so that he is the only one making money off of them. I don't understand why that's so difficult for people to understand. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Just stop doing it. Just stop. Not only that, um, there are women here and maybe some men, but definitely some women who are in domestic violence situations and they are choosing to live in a vehicle and they have fled very dangerous situations and you're riding around and I've seen it firsthand, people riding around with a camera in their window as they ride up and down the streets showing people, what if I don't want to be on your um, video? What if I don't want to be I'm um, seen. What if I don't want other people to know that I am here? Because now everyone knows where the RTR is located. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, stop filming when you're told not to film. Just cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Just cut it out. It's not that difficult. Just stop. So anyway. All right. Bye. Um, bye. 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 Sorry, your battery's dying. But yeah, it was like, you know, just cut it out, people. Just do like I'm doing. Just there, there are thousands of people here willing to do a video tour of their rig. Just go find someone, ask them if they want to do a video tour for your channel, and film the rig in the in the interview of that person. I don't understand what the big deal is. Why you have to be filming the seminars? Why you have to ride around showing people that don't want to be shown on film without their right, without their permission, and without their right? I just don't get it. I don't understand it. Like, what is so difficult about that? You know, there's a whole little area of YouTubers and they seem to be in their own world and they're just not caring about anybody else. They're, some of them are being quite rude to the regular folk who are not on YouTube. I haven't gone down there. I haven't seen a YouTuber. I don't want to see a YouTuber. I am, um, I am not um, a, a, a fan of most of the YouTubers. And so I'm not going down to where they're camped just because of the attitudes and I people are coming to me telling me this that they're having attitudes to the normal folk approaching them so you know whatever but I'm having a blast my camp is so fun we have a cool group I've had Vanner family come and go I have um, had people come up and say they saw me on Bob's video and it's so so awesome it's such a love fest over here in my camp and down my little row here and i'm just having the greatest the greatest time i really am i'm having the best time i'm so glad that i came 
and that I didn't let any of the negative stuff that happened when I first came out to Arizona affect me. So I'm so, so glad. Yeah, you can ask um, Kovina man. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Not Kovana. It's Kovina, right? <laughs> um, I think overall I've had about 13 or 14 um, Van Dweller family come. And some stayed one night, some stayed five nights. Some some are still here. <laughs> so they're planning on staying the whole thing time. And no, I'm not the only black person here, but every black person I see, I go over and I say hi to them and I say, I'm so glad you came. Um, and thank you for coming and, and stepping outside of your comfort zone and coming to a big event like this. Every black person that I've that I see, I stop and say hi to. Um, if you're here at the RTR and you're on this live or you're seeing this video and, and it's still RTR time, please find me and come say hi because um, I want to make sure that we are here, we're at these events and we're not scared and we just find each other and just um, say hello to each other and make sure we're all okay, we're all comfortable, we're all safe. Um, so yeah, I'm just, you know, I just want to reach out to everybody that I that I see of color because I don't want them thinking they're the only black person here, you know? So it's just one of those things. And there are a lot, um, more than I thought, and probably more than have been in all of the years of RTR. I bet you this is probably the first year there's been this many black people. Clearly, it's not a 50-50 um, split of black people and white people or, or black and other. Um, but it's probably more than it's ever been. And so that's pretty cool. So I like that. I don't know why my screen is flashing, but it's annoying as heck. Is the screen flashing for you guys? Are you guys getting a flash every so often? Somebody let me know. Maybe it's just my phone. I don't know. Who knows? It's like all of a sudden I'm just getting this. Ding, bling. Okay, it's my phone. It could be where I am. I only have two bars, so maybe it's just me. And I'm not moving. I'm not walking or anything. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, well. It's all good. Maybe it's every time somebody joins the chat it flashes. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. It's very dusty, so I've given up on trying to keep anything clean. <laughs> it's just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, thank you, Cindy. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> I know I ate up all my chocolate. I have no more chocolate. <laughs> the chocolate is all gone. It's all gone. Uh, yeah, I just ate up all my chocolate. It is gone. Um, no, I did not meet Jax. Um, like I said, I'm not meeting any YouTubers. I don't really have a desire to meet YouTubers. I want to meet the subscribers. I want to meet, um, people, you know, I want to meet real life people. I don't care about YouTubers. Um, YouTubers put their life or what we think is their life on the internet. I can see what they're doing by watching their channel. I want to see real life people living this life. I want to see, um, um, so you're gonna have to go. Bye. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I haven't, I've seen him at a couple of events before. He was at Schooly Palooza and we spoke, but we never had a conversation because it tends, and also the other thing about, um, and the other thing about YouTubers is other people are kind of flocking to them. So you can't really have a real legit conversation because other people constantly are there. So it's no big deal. You know, they're around. If I want to meet up with them at some other point, I can. I can easily contact them and do that. But I want to I want to meet real people doing this that have been doing this for a while. There are people here that have been doing this 20 years. I want to talk to those people, you know? Oh, wish movement. Oh, no. I'm so sorry that you hurt yourself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi, Frankie Lee. <laughs> I don't consider myself a real YouTuber. I don't know. I guess it's because I act the same way on in front of the camera as I am in um in real life. And I'm finding that that all YouTubers are not that way. Being told firsthand from firsthand accounts and from a couple of people that I met before the RTR that they don't necessarily come across the exact same as um they are on their channel so 
and I don't consider myself a real YouTuber. I'm just sharing my life with you guys. It's not, um, it's not work for me. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not work for me. Um, yeah. Anyway, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Um, um, so me and Mama Willow talk on the phone and we've seen each other a couple times here at the RTR. She, um, she found her tribe. And so her tribe and her have a good mesh. They have a good gel. And it's not that we're not together anymore. It's just that her tribe is not my tribe. And that's quite all right. So we still talk. I still text her. I still check on her. We call each other on the phone. Um, but her tribe is just not my tribe. That's all. And that's okay. You know, um, you, you know, you kind of find the people who mesh with you and gel with you. And there you go. That's just the way it is. It's not a big deal to me. I still talk to her. Um, not every day, but probably every two days we talk. So it's completely fine. Oh, you tore your meniscus. Ooh. Oh, and the MCL. Yeah, you know, I had my left meniscus, um, I had to have surgery on it and now I have arthritis in that knee and I my then I tore my right meniscus and I didn't have the surgery because it was pointless. You know, if you're going to have arthritis, what's the point? So I, it healed over and I've got some bad scar tissue and it hurts every so often, but it is what it is. So tomorrow's agenda and I missed the solar cooking today because I was sleeping. And um, I went to the meet and greet with Bob today because I didn't go the first night like I said I was. Um, but, um, it was just like Q and A and, you know, it wasn't, I don't know what I was thinking it would be, but it was just Q and A and I sat there for a little while, but then I, it's pretty much stuff you can glean from watching his channel. All of it, if you just sat and binge watch his channel, you could probably glean all the information that he said in the Q and A's people asking questions that can be answered on his videos. So I didn't stay. Um, and let me see tomorrow. I, I don't have the paper in front of me. There was something I wanted to go to tomorrow, and now I don't remember what it is. No, tomorrow's Wednesday. So Thursday, I'm going to probably be going to the um, art camp. And they, if you bring a canvas, which I have this blank canvas I've been riding around for like two years, um, they're doing like marble painting on canvas. So I do have this canvas. I want to get it. Um, I want to get some help with marble painting on it. And I might be getting one of the artists, if they're willing, and they have the materials to paint something on this back side window. So we'll see. That's Thursday, not tomorrow. Tomorrow, I thought there was one thing on the schedule I wanted to go to tomorrow. And because it's on my phone, I can't pull it up because I am on live. So I will, um, I'll go in the description box later and put that, put, put that, put that in the um, description box, what it is I plan on doing for tomorrow. But there was one thing, I think it was the 10 o'clock seminar. And I don't remember what it was anyway. The music session does get loud at night. Um, I am about, mm, if you count, so we, we call the streets like washes, you know, the washes that happen, the natural washes where water comes through. Um, I'm about four washes away from them and we heard the music. Um, and there was a time when they did it past 10 and it was really loud and people complained. And yes, Mr. Wells had to come and tell them, shut it down. So since then, they have not done any music past 10, so it's perfectly fine. But because they're in the desert, there are no buildings, there are no tall trees, it just wafts across the desert. Every sound does. You're going to hear it. It is what it is. But it's all shut down at 10, and it's fine. It's like, come on, people, just stop. It is what it is. It's just whatever. And it's ridiculous that grown-ups can't be grown-ups uh, it, it's like high school, you know, it's so clickish. Oh, thank you, extraordinaire. That was sweet of you. Thanks. Um, so yeah, it's just very clickish and that's ridiculous, but you just can't, you know, you just, you just can't. But, um, the cool thing that was announced is that, um, the BLM land is happy to have us here and they're glad, um, that this event turned out so huge that they are considering giving us a bigger um, space for next year that we don't have to have to go down that raggedy, raggedy road anymore for next year. So 
they're working on figuring out a space for us for next year that's um, better accessibility, more level ground, just in, in more open space. So that'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be like up in still in quartzite, just, you know, a better space. And we'll be it'll be just RTR people because we are mixed. So you have to remember quartzite is not a huge place. And this is where all the snowbirds come in the winter. So um, hello, Tippy Joe. Um, so we have snowbirds mixed in with RTR people. Um, we have um, the PPI group. I don't know what they are, but there's a group called the PPI. They're here. We've got the Boomers group, which is a, their own RV group in their own thing. Goodbye, Gabrielle. Um, so we're all mixed in. It's not just RTR here. So there's a ton of people here, a ton. So you have to keep that in mind. So I think they're going to give us a space for next year. And they're going to, it's kind of just a whole section. And it'll be just RTR people. And it'll be walking distance to the permit place. So we don't have to drive over. We'll be able to walk and we don't have to, the main thing is, uh, bye Deborah. Um, the main thing is not going down that raggedy, raggedy, raggedy road. Cause, oh my gosh, that road is horrible. Every time you have to go into town, ugh, it's horrible. So. Are the stores, showers, and restaurants packed in town because of the masses? They are, but if you get there in the morning early, which is what I did, it was fine. When I went into town on Sunday morning, I just went early in the morning. Um, to those leaving, bye. And to those coming, hello. Um, so, yeah. So, the temperature is probably close to 66 just during the day and pretty sunny, although today was a little overcast and chilly quite chilly at night but if you're in your covers and you've got some you know flannel pajamas or whatever you're good um, I haven't had to use um, the feet the hand warmer things I haven't had to use those down in my feet they've been pretty warm um, one of the Vanner family gave me some wool socks so I have had some wool socks on and my flannel leggings and I usually a long sleeve t-shirt so yeah hey Steven so Hi, Regina. I don't have... So, let me show you. These guys came... I want you guys to go on social media and find this group. Wilderness Works. Go follow them on social media. Go hit them up uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever. Because this group, wildernessworks.org... They take homeless youth and they take them camping. So this gentleman came, his name is Bill, and he brought two um, young men with him, uh, a 19-year-old and an 18-year-old, and they came camping with us. And it was awesome. It was so awesome. And um, two black young men, so, so, so awesome. And one of them was in a um, um, tent. So I gave him my buddy heater to keep. So no, I do not have a buddy heater anymore. I was going to be giving it away at the end of RTR. I don't remember if you guys remember me saying that, but I said that I would uh, because I hadn't been using it. So I did um, give him my buddy heater. So yeah, please follow them is really really good um it's really 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 cool really really cool uh hold on i am mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm removing a couple of com comments because, okay, bum, 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 bum. sorry about that guys, all right, who on here is a moderator, Covina man, are you still on, do, 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 do. All right, yeah, Kavina, man, I need your help. There's a couple of comments. I removed a couple, but if you could help me out there. <clears throat> I don't think I have any more admins here. <clears throat> um, they were really, really cool. Um, so, again, it's Wilderness Works. 
please find them on social media and um, hit them up, subscribe to them. I don't know if they have a YouTube, but at least I think they have an Instagram and it's wildernessworks.org. So they're taking homeless youth camping and on adventures and traveling and they and they also provide guidance to them. So um, please follow them on social media, okay? They are really, really, really cool. Really sweet guys. Um, Bill, um, the guy that was with us, was a um, vegan. And um, I think he and Dylan might have been vegans. I'm not sure. But they were so sweet. So nice. And they um, have a bus. And um, their bus driver, Tad, came. So it was four men. It was Bill, Quan, Dylan, and Tad. Tad was the bus driver. He and Quan drove the bus from... Atlanta from Georgia here and Bill and Dylan flew and rented a Sprinter RV and stayed with us. They're going to take a few more days, hang around um, the area. I think they were maybe going into Cali and then they were going to go back to Georgia. So I told them when I got to Atlanta, um, I would definitely be looking them up and hanging out with them and maybe even coming and speaking with their, um, uh, their youth about this lifestyle. So, um, you know, your homeless youth, you know, this is maybe, an, uh, maybe, um, when you, uh, you are able to get a vehicle, living in a vehicle could be something that you could do. Um, any, you know, any, any homeless person, but, um, they, they specifically help homeless youth. So I will definitely be hitting them up and coming and talking to their youth. Uh, I think that would be really cool. And it's predominantly black youth. So I really want to get involved. So please, please, please. If you are in the Georgia area, yes, contact them. Please, if you're in the Georgia area, contact them and be a uh, help them out somehow. I don't know if it's money. I don't know if they need clothing for the youth, if they need guidance counselors, if they need mentors. Please, please, please contact them. Wildernessworks.org. Okay, wildernessworks.org. Uh, I think they're on Facebook. I'm not sure if they're on Instagram, and I don't think they're on YouTube, but I know they're on Facebook. So hit them up. Uh, I'm sure they could use all the help they could get. Um, so please, please, please do that if you're able to. That would be amazing. And tell them Crystal Vanner sent you. Um, tell them I sent you. All right? Do, let's do that. There's no reason we can't volunteer and help our youth, you know? Especially our homeless youth. You know, homeless teenagers, that's really hard. You know, that's really a difficult situation to be in as a teen. Um, just think back to your teen years, middle school and high school years. Imagine going through everything you went through as a teen and being homeless on top of it. So let's help our youth out. Uh, what else is going on here? Oh, it's just about all dark now. Uh, anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? I think a qu couple of questions were being asked while I was talking. So if you have a question, go ahead and and um, ask them now. Someone's calling. I can't answer that call. Do you just wing it when you do the tours of my video? Yes, I wing it. There's no script when I do video tours. That's why they're not all the same. I don't ask the same questions. I basically let the person show me what they want to show me. And, um, if I, if they glance, gloss over something real quick and I find it interesting, then I'll stop them and, and we'll talk about it a little longer. Um, I do feel safe here. I've been in my van since August 27th, 2015. Um, do I follow a YouTuber called Rod on the Road? I do, uh, on Facebook. I do, I, I follow Rod on Facebook. We're Facebook friends. So yeah, I kind of know Rod. Um... I love the video I did on the retired social worker from Maryland. Yes, Miss Maria, she's still here with me. She's in camp with me. Did the uh, size of the RTR this year surprise me? It did not. Uh, it was exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be thousands of people. Um, like Bob said in one of his videos, out of about 1,500 people will be about 100 a-holes. Yeah, and yep, that is true. <laughs> um, are you ever going to Washington State? At some point, I will have to go to Washington State because I got to fill out my map. And Washington's up there all by itself, empty for the West Coast. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to hit it up before I go to the East Coast or if I'm going to wait and do it next um, year when I come back West. Do I ever consider having a little pet? Uh, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I almost had a big dog. I almost had a pit bull, but that didn't happen, and I'm kind of glad it didn't. Um, so no, not right now. No pets. How did I get started? Ooh, you're going to have to go back and watch the My Story video. It's too much to say in a live. Yes, Rod is a very cool guy. Any chance of touring the Northeast? So, let me show you my map. I have done the Northeast. I did that before I came out here. But there's a couple places missing. So, yes, I will be coming back to the East Coast. April 1st, I will be going to the East Coast. So, I'm here in Arizona. April 1st, I have to be on April 26th. I have to be in North Carolina. So, I'm probably going to go across here maybe here and here if you're in those areas look me up <laughs> um will there be any more tour videos yes I, there will be more tour videos i have two on my phone that i need to edit and upload but i'm trying to space them out so probably check back in a day or two um bonnie boo All right, I'm watching you, Bonnie Boo. That comment, I don't know where that came from, but I'm going to watch you. Um, da, 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 any more questions? Yes, we're going to meet in Maine this summer for lobster. I haven't picked a date yet. Oh, we did pick a date. So we said it's the Saturday after Labor Day. Yes, I'm not coming to Alaska. <laughs> ah. um, are you still giving thought to doing meetup? Yes, I will be planning out meetups. Um, I... I'm going to be enlisting some help from someone who has volunteered to help me manage this YouTube life um, to do that. So, yeah. Am I close to Lake Havasu? Yep, I'm about an hour and a half from Lake Havasu. Um, holler when I get to Kansas City. I will try, but I'm not going to remember who's in Kansas City. You'll have to keep watching videos to see what my next area will be, and we can all meet up somewhere. How do I maintain my hair being in such harsh climates? Is it keeping wrapped the best way? Yes, that is what I do. I keep it wrapped. I just twisted it up last night because I had showered on Sunday and um, got it all cleansed and conditioned and detangled and all that. And so I, I kept it out Monday, um, unfortunately. I didn't mean to. I was lazy. But yes, I twisted it back up last night. So it's it's just in big twists. Um, yep. Uh Uh, da, 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 da. Can my playlist be played more than once to count? I'm not sure how that works. I think you have to play it from a different IP address, so it might not work. Yeah, that might not work. Um, watching Van Tour on TV of Carol's Right Now. Sweet. Thank you for watching. What kind of lights do I have hanging and are they solar? So these were a gift from a Vanner Fanner, and they are little lanterns, and they're on a string, and they're battery operated. Let me pull back. And this is this is the battery pack. And it has a little on off. That's off. And that's on. And so what I did is I strung them. And they're even over there. Yep. And they're three triple uh double A batteries. So no, not solar. Where in North Carolina? I can't remember. It's a gathering for African-American RVers, and I don't remember where it is in North Carolina. Uh, come to Cleveland, Ohio. I will have to come to Ohio. I haven't done that yet. KCMO. I do not know what that is. Come to Florida. I will be in Florida probably in June. I don't know what part of Florida because my cousin just moved to Florida, and I don't remember which part. So, yeah, it will probably... Um, be sometime in early June. Do I film all of my videos on my phone? Yes, every video I have ever shot has been on whatever cell phone I owned at the time. I have never filmed a video on my channel on a camera. I don't own a camera. Um, don't. I'm not forgetting Philly. I was already in Philly, but I will probably go back to Philly. 
Florida Georgia line. Okay. Um, Chug a lug dug. Yes, I heard about that particular YouTuber, and I saw his thing popped up in my feed because everything that says RTR on the channel is popping up in my feed. And I saw that he did some live streaming from the RTR, and it's not cool, and it is what it is. So it is what it is. I meant to say, how do I maintain my natural hair? I use Hydra Therma Naturals. You'll see a playlist on my playlist of me using the product. It's the best product in the world, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And I don't use anything else on my hair but that. The o And I co-wash my hair with VO5 Moisture Milks that I get from the Dollar Tree. You liked my cooking segment for the potluck? Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Shay, that you won't be in North Carolina in April. You're going to Afghanistan? Are you in the military? If so, thank you for serving. And anyone else that is in the armed military or armed forces, thank you for serving. Mm -mm -mm. What about the job you wanted to get there? So it ended up that I did not have to get a job because thanks to my wonderful viewers who keep liking and sharing and subscribing to my channel, I'm getting enough watches and views of my videos that I was able to maintain myself on a very low budget. And because I'm not traveling and wasting a lot of gas and I haven't had any knock on wood, I don't have any breakdowns. I have been able to maintain myself with my Teespring and my Etsy shop now and my YouTube money. So I did not have to get a job, but if the time time comes, um, if the time comes to that, I need to get a job, then I will get a job. There are plenty of places to work out here. Um, did I offend you about the comment? Um, yeah, that comment was kind of weird. I just didn't know if you were, I don't know. It just was weird. It's fine. If you, if, if it was just a fluke, it's a fluke. No big deal. Yes, the Saturday after Labor Day is when we're going to Maine. Watch my Cussing Mad video if you want to meet us in Maine. We're going to the same place. I think it was called the Lobster Claw to have lobster together. It's the Saturday after Labor Day. Good night, Miss Monica. Hello to you, Adriel. Adriel. At the show and tell, what were the hangers called? Higher hangers. H I G H E R. Higher hangers. They hi they are higher. They're higher up. How long do the batteries last? I don't know. I don't know how long the batteries last. I just changed them today and I hadn't, but I don't use these very often. I've been using them more now at the RTR because I leave them on at night while we're sitting at the campfire. I usually have my batteries, uh, my lights on. Hey, nobody lit a campfire yet. That's interesting. So I leave these on at night so I can find my way back over to my van. They do put out good lights. Uh, I do not have rechargeable batteries. I just bought batteries. I probably should get rechargeable batteries at some point. Uh, let's see. Are you into music? I don't know who Tim Black is. I listen to um, R&B, hip-hop, jazz, blues. I do not like country music, really. Uh, it's not that I hate it or anything. It's just not my favorite genre. So, yeah. Good night, Mama Clark. Who else, who else, who else? Putting in the bed for Chicago. Don't forget you. <laughs> uh, Annie the Journal. No, I do not want a camera. Mm -mm -mm. I skipped your question. Ask your question again, Bonnie. Uh -uh -uh. I would love a microphone. <laughs> That's probably the one piece of equipment I will buy is a microphone, uh, especially for doing tour videos. I feel like the sound could be a little bit better, especially when the wind blows and, and traffic comes by. So I probably will get a uh, microphone. Um, not leaving Arizona after the RTR, no. I probably will be going uh, all around between Arizona, California, and Las Vegas. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, I wouldn't say that it's enough 
YouTube income, but it's doable. It's livable. Let's put it that way. I, I would, I definitely want to be making more on YouTube because I need to be saving for those repairs that I know are going to come because it's an old van. It's going to need repairs. So I need to be saving. So right now I'm not able to save. I'm making just enough. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody asked if you were scared in your vehicle, then I made that dumb. Oh, okay, Bonnie Boo. I got you. I didn't, I missed the other comment. I'm cutting in and out. Sorry. I have upgraded and the camera still was perfect, just not being used anymore. So the only reason I would probably never use a camera is that would then mean that I would have to um, break out my laptop for editing because you can't edit on a camera. And then I would have to figure out some kind of Wi-Fi to then upload the video from the laptop. Doing everything on my phone means I already have data. So everything I do on the phone, I can let it upload overnight while I sleep and it's perfectly fine. So that's the only reason. It's 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 much it's much more steps if I use a camera. You have to load, you have to film on the camera, and then either take the SD card out and put it in the laptop and do all your editing. Then you've got to go find Wi-Fi to hook the laptop up to to upload the video to YouTube. So it's like three extra steps. When here I can just do it all on the phone, upload it, go to sleep, and let it uh, upload. So that's why I don't use a camera. My Etsy shop. I sell T-shirts in my Etsy shop. Um, some of the same teas that are on Teespring, but not all the same. I probably won't do videos every day until April where I will do VEDA again, which is video every day in April or video every day in August. So April and August are the months you can look forward to videos every day. And some of those videos might be five minute videos. Some might be two minute videos. Some might be 20 minute videos. Some might be a live where I just talk and ramble. So it would be a video every day. But so if you want to see me every day, you can look for that in April. But I usually try and do at least two videos a week and my monthly What's Up Wednesday. Please take the survey. The link is in the description box of this video because we're going to be doing a once a month scheduled live um, YouTube so that everybody knows exactly what day and time I will be on a live once a month for those that keep missing me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, we're going to Maine just because we want to park next to the grouchy lady in Maine. This is our annual, this is going to be an annual Mecca trip where I'm going to come back every year. That's the whole point. <laughs> Uh, am I going to tour more black van dwellers if they are willing to tour you guys have to remember not everybody wants to be on YouTube not everybody wants their van to be um on an on a um a video so if they're willing and open to tours then yes I do have one more black woman whose tour I did um this morning she will be up in a few days so yeah good night Cindy how many are in camp with me now I don't know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably about eight. Mm, temperature today, I think, got up to almost 70. Have you ever thought of getting the screening that you can hang over your doorway to keep out the bugs? Well, there are no bugs here now. It's winter. But I do have a screen that I put up in the summer. I just don't leave it up year round because it's a pain in the butt getting in and out of that door. You know, it's not a standing up door. It's not a tall door. So it's a pain in the butt and you end up getting tangled in it and it rips. And so, yeah, my favorite kind of food, chocolate. Where was I when I sh they shut down the karaoke here at camp? My camp is away from that camp. Uh, what's your take on the karaoke shutdown? I'm not dwelling on the karaoke shutdown. It was past 10 o'clock. Okay, <laughs> they got shut down. It's over. It's done. That's what it is. They haven't done it past 10 cents. It's fine. Hi, PJ Martin. We don't talk politics here, Judy. Can I do a video about my battery and power in general setup? So this is what I'm going to do for that. Um, My battery setup will be filmed probably this summer 
because my battery and power guy is on the East Coast. So while I'm on the East Coast in Virginia, I'm going to have him do the video with me because I don't know enough about it to explain it thoroughly. So look for that this summer. I will have my P.O. box all the way up through March 20th. If anything won't get to me before March 20th, don't send it. Wait till I get my P.O. box on the East Coast. Carla, you'll be in Vegas in a month. Well, I will be in Vegas watching the Black Panther movie. I will be in Vegas. If you want to come see me or meet up with me in Vegas, I will be in Vegas on February 14th, 15th, 16th, and probably 17th. So February 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, I'll be in Vegas. If you're going to be there, um, email me and we can figure out a meetup spot. My van is a 1996 Mercury Villager. Um, what else? Uh, 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 uh. Everybody took the survey. Good. Keep taking the survey. I have to get 100 responses before I make a decision. I will not upgrade to a bigger van this year. I'll probably upgrade to another minivan, possibly, hopefully, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Burger wants to meet me. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I want to meet him. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you, RCC. <laughs> RC Como one. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. There, I don't see a class between rich and poor RVers. There's everything out here from expensive class A's to Priuses. And we're all the same. As far as I can see. I haven't been seeing any of that. My cell phone carrier is Cricut. I have Cricut Wireless. Main lady might sell her property. <laughs> Main lobster crawl, lobster claw crash will be fun because it will give her your reason to travel there. That's cool. Temperature at night is probably in the 30s, like 30, 32. I tour any person willing to be um, uh, toured. No. Trinity Blue. Will I do a shirt saying authentic melanin? No, but I will now. <laughs> After this video, I will upload that shirt. Yes, 10 p.m. is late enough for all craziness. Yes, I usually tell all of my tour ease to please go on and answer questions. Miss Maria couldn't get online, which is why she hasn't answered questions yet. She's having an issue with her service, but she will be doing that when she can. Yes, definitely get your 50 watts set up for solar. It's good to have it. I'm considering getting a small battery pack just to plug my um just to plug in my um um, heated 12 volt blanket because it would be nice to have that run but I want it separate because I don't want to kill my batteries yes the Nissan Quest is the same as the Mercury Village they are the exact same I have a Nissan injury I mean injury engine in my van so yes yes come on out to the movie with with us Kovana can I call you by your real name? <laughs> Just your first name? Because <laughs> I know I'm messing up the name of that town. <laughs> um, you're only 5'2 and you have a Prius? Um, if you are in a Prius, I would say don't give up the Prius. The Prius is having a generator. Um, you can have your heat or your AC and I would say don't give up your Prius. Um, see if you can put a little hitch on the back and one of those little teeny um, trays that hook to the hitch and put a couple extra bins out there for extra storage to get some stuff out of the Prius. But honestly, if I was in a Prius, I wouldn't go to a minivan. I Because just giving, especially with you being 5'2", you're, you're short enough, you're perfectly fine. I do not know what van I would upgrade to it because it's still going to be used. It's still going to be older. Um, because it's less, um, even though older vans can have their problems, they don't have the computers, which are easier to fix. So it would probably still be something in the 90s, just with less miles and in a, in a, in, um, probably something with that 
someone took better care of. I'm the third owner and the first two didn't take the greatest care of this van. So I've had to deal with a lot of their things that they should have dealt with. But um, I do know that I want to have two sliding doors, not just one. And I do know that I want, there was one other thing I said I wanted besides two sliding doors. I don't remember. Oh, I think I would like a town and country because the stow and go seats. So I would take the seats completely out, but I want to have those empty bins where the seats fold into as storage. So those were the two things I'm looking for in a vehicle. Um, I know other, I think another car, another uh, car company makes stow and go seats too, but I know the town and country does. But the Toyotas, Toyota Privias are really good and Toyotas go forever. So I'm considering that too. I think I'm more concerned about having the two sliding doors than the stow and go seats. Thank you, Kate, for watching all my videos and liking them. Um, I am having a good time. Thanks for taking the survey. Um, if you don't know what survey I'm talking about, it's in the description box of this a live feed. So when this is done and it's uploaded, click the link and take the survey, please. Um, do, 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 do. Carla, your birthday is February 13th and you're going to move. You're going to see me in Vegas. That might be cool. Yay. We can do a big Vegas gathering. Hi, Jens. Good night, Kate. How often do I see black families RVing? Um, I don't think I've ever seen a black family with kids. I've seen black couples and I've seen black singles, but I don't think I've ever seen black families. I've seen families RVing. So I would think that it would be perfectly fine. Um, being black is just being black anywhere. Um, there's no difference if you live in a house, an apartment, uh, a trailer, your skin color is going to be the same and people are going to treat you according to what they believe and their prejudices and racisms. So being black in a vehicle doesn't change any of that. <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, I don't know about BLM land east of the Mississippi River. There are plenty of Google is your best friend when looking for BLM land. Uh, 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 uh. Who am I? Hmm. Okay. Oh, Dodge Caravans have stow and go? Good. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Georgia, there's BLM land. So yes, it's east of the Mississippi. There you go. Yeah, you could definitely do a Prius and a teardrop. Teardrops are so lightweight, you could pull it with a, 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 a Prius easy. Bye, Frankie. Great videos of Prius setups. They're actually going to be doing, and I might go to that tomorrow, even though I can't film it. Um, although I might be able to film a one-on-one -on -one with a Prius person. They are doing a small car um, um, little seminar. Uh, someone who's in a Prius is going to be talking about their car. So maybe if I can find one of the Prius owners who's willing to do a tour of their vehicle and they've got it set up very nicely, I might try and do that for you guys. Mm -mm, my ve my van, I think I already said, is a 1996. Two sliding doors are great. Someone's recommend a Honda, Honda Odyssey or a Kia Sedona. Did I rearrange the inside of the van? No, not really. Nothing. Nothing's changed. Um, I put some pockets up over here. Well, they were kind of already up, but I just reinforced them because they were sagging a little bit. So I did reinforce them a little bit. Um, I have a different pillow. Someone gifted me a pillow. One of the Vanner Fanners who came and camped with us. She left for a few days. She's coming back for the women's RTR, but she made me a pillow and she gave me a new blanket and a pillowcase. So when I go to have a Sioux at the end of the month, or maybe while I'm in Vegas next month, um, I'll put all those on. But it's too dusty out here. I don't want to get them all yucky. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't believe Crystal is who that comment needs to be directed at. Uh, what comment 
was directed at me. Okay, uh, then I just skip over that. Hi, Karen, just saying hi. Uh, okay, so it looks like I've answered most of the questions. It looks like some people are talking amongst themselves. And we're not going to talk about, uh, I'm going to be deleting some of these comments. I'm not deleting the people, but I'm going to delete some of these comments because I'm not talking about those particular people or channels. That's not what my live is for. Um, so yeah how do I deal with loneliness I don't get lonely I've got tons of people around me I haven't I have not been lonely yet um, you could custom build a pop top on your van so I could stand up nope don't want a pop top mm. RTR ends on the 21st, and then the 22nd, 23rd, 24th is the women's RTR. Hi, Alicia. Thank you, Billy. Uh, I have not eaten dinner. I had chocolate all day. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I deal with not being able to stand up? Um, it's not an issue for me. So it's not an issue for me standing up because if I need to stand up I get out of the van there's no there's really no need for me to stand up in the van tires have been okay um, on my van I had to replace one tire in Havasu there was a little teeny short video about that because I ran over something but um so yeah I'm just dealing with this so each each new tire I get I get a warranty on it so that tire does have a warranty so it looks like I only have two moderators and I've got 203 people on here. So um, we're not talking about politics. We're not talking about religion. We're not talking about anything negative, And we're not mentioning other YouTubers because that's not what my channel's for. I'm not talking about them. And I respect that they don't talk about me, hopefully. So other than that, we can chat. We can talk about everything else. I hope that everybody is um, reading the book. We are doing the book club. Remember, the book is The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer, and we will be doing a li live chat on that February 24th. I have not given a time yet, so yeah. Total Vanner peeps that have come by to visit or actually camp? So visiting, I don't know. Tons of people who have seen me on YouTube came to visit, but camped with me probably anywhere from 12 to 14. Researching hand crank power generators. That's pretty cool. I did not get the artwork done on my back window. Uh, I am not going to teach while I'm a nomad. Everyone camping with me is, of course, being nice to me. Why would they not be? <laughs> they are subscribers and they are followers or they, yeah, or I already knew them. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen is the awesome person who gave the cabinets. Stephen, both cabinets are in right now. And they look gorgeous. They look gorgeous. I did not meet the Nomadic Fanatic, as I said early on. I do not plan on meeting any... Um, Yes, the wrench means you're a moderator. <laughs> you didn't know you were a moderator, Miss Fringe Twist? Yes, the blue wrench means that you are a moderator. So click on a person's name if they're getting out of control, and it gives you a list of things you can do. If you're not sure about blocking them, then you can just um, remove that comment. If they say something else that's crazy, then you can block them. <laughs> she didn't know she was a moderator. <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> yes you are a moderator <laughs> you, 
you have the power of the wrench. Bling, bling. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> she said, is that what that wrench means? Yes, sweetie, you are a moderator. Do your thing. <laughs> so the choices are, and I'm just going to click on someone's name. The choices are report, remove, put them in a time out, time out or re hide them from this channel. Hiding them from this channel is is basically banning them from them, this channel. They under, they cannot come back. So wow. Yes, you got the power, Miss Harris. <laughs> so there are a couple of more people here. I wish that I could wrench, but I can't wrench you during a live. Uh, I really want YouTube to make that a um, feature on the live videos that I can touch your name and give you a wrench. So there are a few people here that I've now gotten to know in real life that I want to wrench, but I can't wrench you right now. I have to do that when I'm not on the um, video, <laughs> but I will try and remember to wrench you guys later. Um, if you are on the live with us now and someone says something and it's been missed please just type their name in bold and say please delete or block and then type their name so we'll know you're saying hello hi gilbert i will probably at some point travel outside the u.s but i don't have a um i don't have a um what do you call it passport so i can't go anywhere just yet I did get your email about the Amazon affiliate information, and I've been sit. I I can't really answer. I'm so busy, but um, I am looking for um. I know what your email said, and I know how to do that. I'm looking for the affiliate link where it's just one affiliate link that takes you straight to Amazon's homepage. I don't want to make links for every individual item. There is a way to do it, and um, unfortunately, I think there's one YouTuber who I'm gonna have to talk to about this. She's fairly nice, so I think I'll be okay talking to her. But yeah, I want one link that takes you to the Amazon homepage that you can order whatever and I get the kickback from. I don't want to make individual links for every item because a lot of my stuff is not from Amazon. It's thrift shops, so I'm sorry. Um, okay, Will, you're gone. Bye. Um... Oh, sweet. You got to meet Lavelle in Paris. That's cool. Yeah, they were. I don't know why they went to the East Coast in the winter, <laughs> but yeah, they were on the East Coast. Um, after the RTR, I'm just going to be Arizona, Cali, Nevada. Okay, thank you for telling us that, Dan. I will try and find that person. Uh, hey there, Melissa. Um, have I ever thought of talking to Bob and becoming a seminar host on teaching people how to live in a small van? Nah, I wouldn't want that responsibility, to be honest with you. Really, really won't. Billy's asking, am I married? Technically, I am married, but... I consider myself divorced. <laughs> uh, two marriages under my belt and don't plan on ever doing it again. And no, I don't want a boyfriend or a girlfriend. <laughs> so no. I will make it to Florida at some point. Yes. Um, Texas. Nice. All right, Lou. I'm going to hide you. Goodbye, Lou. Um, so let's see. You want to ask my age range? I am exactly 46 and will be 47 on May 13th. Uh, uh, uh. What else? Yeah, the weirdos come out. I will not get an RV ever. Crystal, is there any touristy thing you would like to do in New Orleans if I ever come down? No, not really. 
I don't really do touristy stuff. I just kind of hang around. If a Vanner Fanner is in the town that I'm in, sometimes they'll take me around and um, show me things, and that's cool. So, yeah. But no, I don't have any specific touristy things that I ever wish to do or whatever. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm in my 30s. I don't know. It's good genes, I guess. I got a lot of notifications popping up on the screen. So sorry, guys, if you see my finger come across, I'm swiping away notifications. <laughs> um, it's that time of evening. I guess everybody is on Facebook and emailing me. So I just keep getting random stuff on the screen. I have to move them away. Where will I be staying in Las Vegas? I don't know. I will be staying with one of my super duper Vanner fanners who I stayed with last time in Vegas. I don't remember what part of Vegas she's in. Um, Dan, if you bring up that person again, I'm going to have to delete you. Okay, thank you. Bye, Angela. Have I tried thermos cooking? No, I will never try thermos cooking. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do thermos cooking. I'm not going to do all the, the all, it's just too many hours, too many hours for thermos cooking. It takes too long. Good night, whoever that was that just said good night. Shirley, bye, good night. Vanner family is growing. It's growing like crazy, and I know that's because of Bob's video, and that, that fact is not wasted on me. I know it's because it's his video that I got so many different um, viewers, and, and my channel is starting to grow, and I appreciate that. Completely, 100% appreciate it. Um, I look good for my age. Wow. <laughs> Is that a compliment? <laughs> you look good for your age. I don't think that's a compliment. That's a little bit of shade. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. I joke a lot here. Um, I have depression. To... Okay. Similar circumstances. Okay. I'm sorry that you're having those issues. Um, congratulations to my subscriber and thank you. Yes, lots of subscribers. Bob helped, but people fall in love with me and stay. Oh, thank you. I look good for any age. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good night, Big Al. Yeah, I think 46 is young too. I don't think 46 is old, but I guess people... Or shocked because I don't look it, I guess. My son is 23, and I have a granddaughter who today turns 17 months. So, yes, uh, I am a grandma. Um, I don't ever think I will be back in brick and mortar. Um, I do plan on, at some point, when I get closer to retirement age, getting a tiny house and buying some little piece of land in the south and where it's warm and putting a tiny house there. But I'll still travel as long as I can in a van 30 really no i don't think i look 30 come on really that young i was thinking maybe 40 not 30 really oh well it doesn't matter it's just a number to me because my body feels like it's 60 so <laughs> it's fine uh I hope you are not getting the problems I had gotten a week or two. No, nope, I've had no problems. Um, good night, Silent Traveler. Um, I have not gotten any problems. I've not had any issues here. Um, some of the people that I had issues with are here, but there's so many thousands of people here that it's very easy to not come across them or see them, and it's perf I'm perfectly fine with that. Good morning. Good evening, Gigi. So, yeah, totally fine with that. With the head wrap, maybe it's the head wrap that makes me look younger. That's possible. <laughs> Jennifer! <laughs> Jennifer, get off the live. You're you're right over there. Get off the live. <laughs> Good night, Mary. It was nice seeing you. Mary came and camped with us for, what, a night? Two night? No. A night, I think it was. That's right, Clayton. When they go low, we go high. You got it. I do not sleep with earplugs on. 
because I like to be aware of what's going on around my van in case anybody walks around my van or comes near my van because I don't have an animal to warn me. I want to be able to hear that. So no, I do not. Um, if I could do anything different, would I do it? I would. I would have started this the day I graduated high school. I would have got my diploma and jumped in my van and left. So yes, I would definitely have done this earlier. Um, thanks for finding my channel. Thanks for coming. Rumor is that I don't get along with other RVers. Well, you know, rumors are rumors. Um, hi, Priscilla. Can we text outside the live event? Sensitive subject. I don't know what that means, Alicia. Can we text? I assume if you're texting somebody what's going on, it doesn't matter, but you can't take photos. Um, I love that Bob shut down all the thoughts of you being refused at the RTR down with that video. Yes, um, he purposely did that on purpose, and I appreciate him for doing that. I really, really do. Um, that's right, black don't crack, Carla. Um, I was going to try and come to camp, but hummy, hubby won't cooperate. Can you come without your hubby? And I, now I don't want to ruin your marriage, but can he? Will he let you come without him? <laughs> Hi from Michigan, Cynthia. All right, I'm going to delete this person. FYI, moderators, anybody mentioning that YouTuber Burger Planet, just block them from the channel. I'm done with it. Thank you. Uh, Bob is awesome. I've been on his forum for a while. He is a wealth of knowledge and uses his platform well. He does. He really is. And um, people are trying to be buttholes. I'm going to eat this Ricola because my throat hurts. And you're gone. I do not have security system on my van. It's an old van. It's 1996. I don't even have a clicker. I have to put the key in the door to unlock my door. And I, yep. Um, they do not ban, they cannot ban any breed of dog. So no, they don't. <laughs> like I said, a rumor is there are a lot of rumors. Yeah, a rumor is a rumor. Oh, you can't drive DC 810. Sorry. Okay, do not mention that person or I will block you. We're not doing that. Yeah, there is some kind of bug going around. I don't know what. Oh, they've got the fire burning. Let me flip the camera so you guys can see it. They're over there at the fire. They're gathered around the fire. <laughs> Anywho. Um, let me plug in my... Oh, where is it? Oh, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, it's in the bag. Hold on. Let me turn this little light on over here. Okay. I've got my rope light. I can put my rope light on. Good night, Kimberly. Saving money to buy a conversion van. Yeah, conversion vans are nice. I do not get scared being all alone. I'm not all alone. There are plenty of people around me. So no, I don't get scared being all alone. I haven't been lonely out here once. I don't think I've been alone except for the days that I actually took time to go be alone. And that's perfectly fine. All right, I'm going to put some backlight. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to put some backlight behind the camera here so that it's not so dark and of course now I'm going to attract bugs I'm going to attract all the bugs in here okay there we go so that is my let me show you this is my rope light You, it comes with this bag so you can take the rope light with the power pack, the USB power pack, which I leave in the bag, and just crunch it in its bag and it makes a lantern. 
Or you can stretch it out the long rope light and wear it across your body, which is what we, Jennifer and I, were doing at the fire pit, at the campfire. But you see how much brighter that light is compared to these little lanterns, which are fine, but it's good to have that backlight. Uh, let's see. Don't lock my keys in the van. No, my keys are. Man, we have to delete a lot. Do I get more or less sick living in the van versus an apartment? Um, I haven't. The two times that I've been quote unquote sick in the van is because I ate something that I was a little bit bad past its time and had mayonnaise in it. So those are the only two times I've been sick in the van. I haven't been sick yet. I have not visited all 48 states. Um, look at my map. I got a whole lot of empty spaces. These are my keys. They hang up here. Look at all these empty spaces. Nope. Haven't visited all the 48 states. So for the admins, the people putting a picture of a burger and the picture of the world for Burger Planet, please delete those people as well. Anything to do with Burger Planet, just delete. And, and not just delete them, block them from this channel. Good night, Joe. Crystal and everyone, I hope you keep some echinacea, echinacea tea. No, I don't have any more. Um, well, the trolls are in here because it's been past an hour. I've noticed that when we get past the 40-minute mark, the trolls start showing up. So, yeah, they're in here. And it very makes for a very difficult time. Um... Yeah, I love being in Arizona. I have attended a couple of sem seminars. I'm not a vegan. I'm a pescatarian that does not eat much dairy or um, eggs. Oh, I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but okay, thank you. <clears throat> What's up, Black Diamond? Yeah, lots of trolls. I'm sorry, guys. There are a lot of trolls in here. We have This is the most people we've had on the live, 235. You're bound to get some trolls. So, unfortunately... Hi, Dreamweaver. Um, I do have moderators on here. The problem is there are more trolls than there are moderators. So, sorry. They're coming. I don't have as many moderators as I do trolls. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap this video up. It's too difficult to try and keep up with um, all the trolls, so we're going to have to just go, unfortunately. And it looks like I only have one moderator right now. I don't know where the other two went. Um, I can't make anyone a moderator while I'm currently on a live video, so there's nothing I can do about it. So, good night to everyone. Um, I probably think most of these trolls are probably already here at the RTR. <laughs> They're probably people that are here. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Good night. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will come live again in a few days. Keep watching. I have a couple more good tours, really different tours coming up. Um, I will make more moderators and hopefully the moderators jump on the live. It's not about making more moderators. It's about having them on the live. Night, guys.